Hello, this is Harumi. Today we are going to make this walking animation. Yay! On my previous tutorial, I made a pixel art by an illustrator, so I'm going to use the file. There is a link in the description box where you can download the file, or you can check out my previous video so that you can make it from scratch. I hope that you enjoy my tutorial. Let's get started! Open After Effects. First, I will import the file. Go to the panel, right click on the mouse and import the illustrator file. Make sure that you click Composition Retain Layer Size and click Import. Here I have my composition and double click and there you have it. Now I'm going to change the composition settings. Right click on the mouse and change the width to 1920. Height to 1080 and duration to 13. Hit OK. These layers are vector files, so we need to convert them into shapes. Select all files and right click and choose Create Create Shapes from Vector Layers. As you can see, all the vector layers are still selected. Click one of them and drag your mouse up to group them all together. You can now delete them all with a single key stroke. This was my lazy trick of the day. Yay! All we have left are these shape layers that we can modify however we want. Like this. Now it's ready for animation. The blue body part will move something like this. Up, down, up, down. Let's change the anchor point to the bottom. Select the body layer and hit the P key for position. Hit the first keyframe and create the second keyframe to 6 frames. Move down a little bit. And the last keyframe will be 12 frames. Copy the first keyframe, Ctrl plus C for copy and Ctrl plus V for paste. Hit Tab key to check. Looking good. Select the face part and change the anchor point to the bottom as well and uh, parent it to the body layer like this. Hit the tab key to check. Now the face moves with the body. Let's do the cheeks, eyes and the nose and parent them to the face. Hit the tab key to check. Now all parts move with the body. We are going to make the eye blink. Click the eyes, hit the S key to scale. In order to separate the scale and the dimension, unlink this button. First keyframe will be at 6 frames, and the last keyframe will be 12 frames. And in the middle of those, we need to set the scale down to 10% so that it looks like blinking. Hit Tab key to check. Good! We need to parent the hand too, so select the left hand and the right hand and appeal into the body like this. Hit tab key to check. Looking pretty good. Now we animate the legs. Let's change the anchor point of both legs like this. Close all the layers and select light leg layer and hit P for position. Move the leg to the middle for the first keyframe And the last keyframe on 12 frames. Go in the middle of the animation and move a little bit right and I will create the second keyframe. Hit tab key to check. Next, let's animate the left leg. Select the left leg layer and hit the P key for position. Move a little bit to the center of the body for the first and the last keyframe. Go in the middle and move a little bit left and I will create the second keyframe. Hit tab key to check. Select the right leg layer and go middle of the second keyframe and the last keyframe and move the leg a little bit up like this. Next, we select the left leg layer and create a new keyframe between the first and the second keyframes and move the leg a little bit up like this too. Hit tab key to check. Now it finally looks like working. 
Let's move on to body animation. Select the body layer and hit L on the keyboard for rotation. Here I will type minus 2 for the first keyframe and the last keyframe. Create the second keyframe, type 2. Hit tab key and check. Good! Now hand, select the right hand, change the anchor point. Hit R on the keyboard for the rotation setting. Go to the first keyframe, we set it arm pointing to the inside of the body like this. And the last keyframe also has the same rotation. In the middle of the animation, rotate outside. Hit tab key to check. Good. Now we do the same on the other hand. Click the left hand, change the anchor point, hit R on the keyboard for the rotation setting. First frame, we rotate it like this and create the last keyframe as well. Go to the middle of the animation. I will rotate it like this. Hit the tab key to check. Hand animation looks good. Final touch is let's move the face part to the left so that it looks more like working. Hit the tab key to check. Yay! Congratulations! We made a simple pixel animation. Well, after this, we will finish up shadow and glass animations. If you're interested, please stay with me. Now we are going to create some shadows. Go to menu and click rectangle tool. Make a square shape like this. Name it shadow light. It has to be below the leg, so move it all the way down the layers. Center the anchor point of the shadow. Hit P key for position. Create the first keyframe and the last keyframe. In the middle of the animation, move it to under the leg. Hit tab key to check. Good. Now we set the scale. Hit S key for the scale setting. And click here and make each dimension a little bigger like this. And do the same on the last keyframe. In the middle of the animation, the leg is far from the ground. So let's make a smaller shadow like this. Hit tab key to check. Good. We are going to repeat the same process with the left shadow. Let's first fold. Hit tab key and check. Looking great! Close all the layers. We are now going to make glass. Hit F2 key to deselect. Click rectangle tool and make some square shapes. Name it glass01. Hit P key. Move it somewhere here. Change the anchor point to the center. Create the first keyframe. And the last keyframe will be here. Hit the tab key and check. Great! We are going to make a few more blades of glass. We are going to repeat the same process. Let's fast forward. You can place them anywhere you want and set the sides. Make sure that all the clumps of glass are under the layers. Pretty good. Now we change the color of the background. Go menu, layer, select new, click solid. Pick the color you like. Hit OK. Name it background. Move it all the way down. Hit tab key. Great. 
If you want to add sound, we can also do that. Go here, right click, import the file, pick the sound, bring it to the layer, and done! Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye bye!